greatest. And the thing is, if you leave the lane for too long, then this Marcy Razor lane just completely takes over as well. So I'm I'm favoring Aston's lineup right now. There's a little bit of it considering the uh, the mid pudge is kind of tainting my uh, my yeah, favoritism yeah, yeah. a little bit. Part of it. 35 man. That's kind of stupid. I mean, nothing crazy. Reflection fine. Cool ability. Mm -hmm. Level two is what we're looking for up top here. So gonna keep an eye up there until they're able to get up to that point. Mira's really looking to prioritize, trying to deny away a little bit of this. And even Mira, kind of in a bit of a rough spot, but so oh, is Picho. Collapse and Mira's gonna try and chase down Pichio and they should be able to find first blood. It comes at a cost though, Mane gets the trade. He also gets Collapse's Coria. That was the tango, so... Mira's got plenty. It's fine. I actually has got four tangos to work with. He does have Avalanche if Mira wants to chalk it out. A little bit extra harassment onto Mane, but not gonna be the case. All right, this is one instance where I feel like the the given salve is okay. TB with such low <laughs> HP that you just want him to be able to get back in there and immediately start that last hitting. Look, we're looking to get aggressive on your two, Toro. The Morph thing is pretty weak early on. I do think... I'm trying to think, is Morph thing gonna have a decent time here? Level three, I'm a bit concerned, but it can just level up the waveform and get out of harm's way. They don't really have the stuns. So maybe they're gonna turn to Maposhka instead, but also you're playing with a Rubik into a Razor, which can be quite nice. Just telekinesis drag away, can offset some of that aggression. So what, what do you think about the uh, down bottom? We got, this is gonna be really important from either side to be able to scout out the, the power runes. Cause if Ori gets something like a haste on the, on the eight minute power rune, then all of a sudden your side lanes are in a whole world of danger. And that could just give, that could slow down the Viper because he's really reliant on, on having a really good lane and bottom lane as well. If you get Razor off to a big start, that's someone who can turn into a third core. Absolutely. I've got the Metamorphosis here. Level three from Monade. If he's able to get some distance to beat into Collapse, he's setting on top of the Nether Toxin. Or he's going to step in, but they won't even require the putt. Unfortunately, Monade. But, you know, that's, a, that's a big reason why they're able to get the kill. Just slowing down Monade's farm. Three deaths here from the Terror Blade and back in the jumble. Your Tora is in trouble. There's the haste. They're not, that's exactly what I was speaking about. Or he gets the haste, rotates to the side lane, and brings down your Tora on the Morphling. Yeah, it happens. I mean, they were able to make that play onto the Terra Blade without waiting for the Dyer's power rune, and, and I kind of like it. They just wanted to get really proactive, use the smoke early on, try and put some pressure onto this Terra Blade so he doesn't feel he's the true carry of this game right now, so he needs to itemize the program. He's going to be in trouble. Can't be dying like that, true carry. Ronto Tokyo will be able to cancel the dismember. Even XXS is going to look to rotate, so Asta putting some importance on, on shutting down Collapse, and they can chase forward for more. Yeah, it's got the movement speed to be able to cancel the static link. And they catch up Toronto Tokyo, and that's not going to be the case as well. So Team Spirit will only lose Collapse. Saw how they almost were able to connect onto further. It's just this ridiculous oh, variance with Marcy. <laughs> oh no. They're giving it some more flesh sheep stacks over to Ori. So he's off they just wanted to make sure. Shot. They just wanted to make sure Pudge didn't get another power rune. You know, sometimes it's worth giving up your life for it. Also no. get a nice little bit of value, being able to get a, a free Observer Ward deny, and that means that Pichu actually doesn't even need to buy the tome in order to reach up onto his level six. I do really like what we're seeing coming out from Toronto Tokyo. He's going a, a bit of a different item build, but he feels it required this critical mass. So it's no car. Or he charges the high dagger. They've got the ward, they're gonna see Maposhka nearby. That's an easy kill. But can they chain this into more? The kill onto Rubik is not enough. They love Toronto Tokyo. They don't have the control. It's like the voids. Oh, hang on. It's going to be cautious. Using both ultimate charges. They're able to sidestep yeah, the hook and an arcane now to play with. Maybe start pushing the mid lane a little bit. No, no reason available. Morphling again. Still uh, not the one to get active. Is he? <laughs> Radiance middle tower. In prime position to be able to pop this. Before. They're going to change the wire then. He's going to be in with the combination. Does he get the toss back? Toronto Tokyo can easily follow up, but he's going to be in trouble. Astral steps to the right side. Oh, or instantly remnant. in pursuit. The Remnant will stop the dismember, but it will not matter with Asta being nearby, and that is a worthwhile trade. But Spirit, a 
they're sticking around. They've got Collapse nearby. He's able to run out of the Nether Toxin. They're looking for the toss back, but Mira's not going to find a target for that. So again, another support going down. The Poshka was just there waiting, menacing. He was like, come on, throw the hook. Do it. I need to steal it. They're connecting. Too late with the hook. Why these smokes are so important, but running into one of the worst targets. Ori, very tanky, pops the flesh heap, even the spirit the vessel not they can kill it. Okay, okay. Oh, all right. Nicely done. Toss him into five. To Radiant are scanning. They're going to get out of this, though, on Team Spirit. They are continuing to shove in top. With this little cooldown, Scan's going to connect, but Provoker jumps in with the ward on the higher ground there. I'm going to scout out Team Spirit. Static Link's not going to get broken as well. So XXS playing with plenty of damage to be able to turn this fight around for Team Spirit. They're up to the task. A jump in, Yutoro considering about entering. There's an ability with XXS. This is still available. Damage. He's got the Blink Dagger coming out on the Courier right. Oh, Ori. I'm going to get that this member off Toronto Tokyo quick on the fingers. So it has the Lincolns. So <laughs> that would that helps him a little. Sorry, true. They're gonna collapse under the town. Mira's gonna look for a TP and well, Pichu is there to be able to cancel that with the Winter's Curse. Meanwhile, inside the river, they're also gonna be on to the Voka. So Team Spirit, they will be able to trade some support lives, but has to get a tier 2 tower. So a much worthwhile trade for the lads on Dial. What an easy kill. Some way they need to pop the Lincolns. They're gonna be able to do so, but to dissimulate with the Agna. Oh, look at that. Perfect read from Asa, playing on the left side, blocking off the escape avenue. They get the curse, it's half duration, but that's all they need. With the follow-up stun, Asa, that was incredible. Reading and anticipating Toronto Tokyo to go to the left, and meanwhile on the river, Ori, he's all to get the coming. Wait for him in a couple of seconds, they're gonna look to get ruffling out instead of taking the fire. One more. So close is the distance. The attribute shift. Yutoro can he get it off fast enough? He does it too much health to play with. Waveform in two. Up for a couple of seconds, but again. Not again. The replicate with the Marcy into the TP. Oh. The stun this time. So finally. Dude, he's been such a pick. He doesn't care. He knows he has that blink dagger to be able to reposition. He just wants the vision for now. They've got to be perfect. Yutoro's going to be in the hook as well with the 8th to run. Then, oh, beautifully done. But Asta, they're going to look to take the team. Fight. X is in, soaking away the damage on Tamira. Toronto Tokyo is going to be in some trouble as well. Monet pumping in the damage from afar as Team Spirit. All they get is the punch, but it comes at the cost of the Void and the Tiny's life. Almost got that curse off as well onto Collapse. That would have been huge, just the, the Blink Dagger cool. Just Toronto Tokyo. Reached up to that level 20 as well. He's going to get the jump. Crossing back towards Yutoro. XXS is in trouble for the moment. PKB is able to reposition. He's going to be fine. Meanwhile, in the middle, though, Ori misses out on the hook. Unable to drag back Maposhka. That's a great start for Spirit. You can't the PKB, but you need to make sure you don't comp up. All eyes on to Mira. But eyes need to be on Mira. It's in with the combo. Blows up one. He will end up going down, however. A one for one with both supports being taken out of the equation. Percent up. Previously, it was a bit of an unknown. Not anymore. Toronto oh, Tokyo once again is going to be in position. Smoking. Again, the Lincoln. So, tries to predict the hook. They're just charging to the higher ground. A toss back. Wipe is in trouble. But a defensive telekinesis is going to be fine. It. And now Yutoro. Able to stand his ground. Trying to siege down on Ori. It's going to be cautious. So, but again, that Team Spirit. Tough. They're doing That's such an incredible job to kite the heroes on Asta. And they also got Monet's Cory. That was the Daedalus. Daedalus, they're completely scouting out the movement. Right, they're under reward. Yeah. They're under reward in the lane. Ori's gonna jump instantly towards a tiny, toss him out to the left side. Team Spirit, do they want to stick around to take the team fight? Your Taurus gonna run for the wave, but meanwhile, Mira, he's in trouble. Into the tree line he goes, but there's gonna be no escape for the position for on Team Spirit. He's trying to continue to secure the kill, finally they're getting him. to the left side as well, collapsed. He's in trouble. As to turn their attention to deal with the easy pickings onto the Viper. And now your Toro as well. Not playing with as much movement speed. He's gonna close the distance onto the Winter Wire, but as Pichu gets the curse to lock him in place and they cancel the TP as well. It's Team Spirit. They just have no response to Ash's team fight.
It's way too much. What I was saying before with the Winter's Curse, at least in this game, you know, if you go for that uh, that toss back into the rest of the team, you're not all forced to stand in melee range. So you're actually not great targets for that Winter's Curse where you're going to land on everyone. They've been pretty good at splitting themselves up. But like you said, that ability is up there. Very quick and easy kill. The telekinesis buys some space, but Ori drags him straight back. Mirror out. He's got a buyback. With losing that control up top. They're going to look to get their lanes out and reset for a At least it's not going to be up for another minute 15, so they will have all the components on Team Spirit. Could have been much worse, though. Like, uh, just to lose a, a tiny from all of that. Big deal, especially considering Collapse had showed back at the base. He had to. Like, this lane was pushing in with the double. Don't have to enter Tokyo with them just yet. He's trying to connect. They're going to be able to get the jump in. There is in trouble for the moment. Once again, the Telkinesis is buying some space. Yutoro, though, the stolen hook. Or is going to be in some trouble for the moment. The corner breaks once again. Giving some breathing room for the punch to stay alive. And the cars are going to Lincolns. They're not going to be playing with the big ultimate from the wind to wire. But it's Yutoro. Waveform to the right. Shields with the support. It's going to be able to go under the cover of the Invis as well. But they've got the vision. He needs the waveform down to the south for Team Spirit. They've got the numbers to protect Yutoro for the moment. So Asta will not continue to chase down the Morphling. They just keep they had a 20k net worth lead that's suddenly shrinking two buybacks on the supports but you're very happy with that if you could take out this pudge and they're going or he bought back this is a big kill if they can find it with the warm high gun toronto tokyo is going to jump blind get the control mirror is going to be in with the combination as well but where's the follow-up your tour is going to be in the middle they've lost mirror but monet the cold embrace it's not enough they'll get the turret blended on your tour hunting in the night looking for the plus one oh, right. the No, Jump stops. to the low ground, but it won't be enough. And they're not done. Toronto, Tokyo will run into the winter wire, as well as Team Spirit are back in this game one. Oh, man. This happened to them earlier in the day against DG, and maybe now they're doing it. Oh, my God. They just... Every little thing just makes such a big difference. And well, I was talking about that lack of buyback on Yatoro previously. He knew, he knew that that was potentially the game-ending fight if they lost. So he fought out. With that, he's going to be uh, a bit, little bit slow, just because, he, of course, the six-second TP back to the outpost. He ends up cancelling it at the very end there, but it's after he already lost that key hero in the pod, who's guaranteed no way to come back into the fight. No one has buyback right now. Oh no, T4 Towers, they're looking for the throne. Poison attack, shard on collapse. He's doing a great job at it. Uh, a blink timing. Does have Pichio nearby as well. Astro actually want to take the fight. Monet's going to join the Horn forward, trying to deal with Mira. They will still lose for both, however, which is a streak given over. But Monet is able to do the dirty work. So we're one for one, but... Bump around. Even just holding onto the broom handle means he's so much more survivable. Good dive. Horn forward, trying to deal with collapse for the moment. The post is going to be able to delay this slightly with the cord embrace. They have the damage to the moment to bring down collapse. The soul assumption's not enough. And now the rest of Spirit, considering about entering... Hang on, Ori. It's going to see both forward as well. They don't have the Ember Spirit nearby to be able to prevent this from him escaping. And meanwhile, hang on, the Ember's in trouble. The of familiar stuns is enough to hold him back for the moment. Mira doesn't have the control, though, to keep the storm inside the Mystic Flare. So Ori is safe and sound. They saw him in the lane. not like this. He gets the ulti off, but it will do nothing. Surround, control, and bring down your Toro. He's having a good kind of string of minutes to be able to find his farm. Unfortunately, that will be put to an end. Third death of the game for... They can definitely consider about maybe beating onto a tower or instead looking to take a fight and Mokpaboke is in. They jump onto the T2 tower. 
Those Razor still without the BKB to protect himself, but he does have a push can maybe to turn this around. The zip in from Ori is enough damage to get the kill, and now he's going to turn his attention over to the Winter Wyvern as well. He's got a little bit of mana more to play with. The Grave's going to buy some time as well for Ori, but look at Asa just swarming behind the Teacher Tower. The Rook is even going to jump onto the high gun. They are making sure no one will ever get this. Ori's not done. The prediction. The zip on forward. All the men he would ever desire is even going to go past the throne. Oh, right here from Asta. To join, make the CP happen. Jump, tossing your tower into the middle. Can he get the ultimate off? He'll have that invulnerability for a little while, but he can't right click anyone. <laughs> the battle trend's gonna send him further back to the base, but Ori, a zip into the middle. Meanwhile, as well, Visage is in a little bit of trouble. He should be able to get the TP up back to base, but PGO will not have the same fate. But it looks like Asa don't give a damn about giving away the Dazzle's life as Ori. I'm over here. Wants revenge, but he doesn't have the greatest mana pool to play with. Eventually having to back off. You, that, that's always when you're, you're really attack. feeling yourself, right? When the only thing that outpost really wanting to get control over here. That's the buyback situation. Gonna back up to the wards. Well, he's gonna jump first. They're gonna run into the Ember Spirit Accord Embrace once again, buying some time for the chain control. Toronto Tokyo will not get a BKB. All the remnant off, and now Spirit, they gotta get out. You cannot stick around to take the fight. Well, you might have to. Oh, man, XXS, what's his mind go? A double stun, looking for the resummon as well. Collapso, charging to the middle, trying to deal with the Dazzle. So they won't have this component. Meanwhile, the Ember Spirit, though, Tokyo, Tokyo, just fought back. A remnant down to the low ground. He's going to be okay. Once again, the collapse. He's charging over to XXS, but they just don't have the way to stop him from getting the action. Charge. So Visage, protected for the moment. But as soon as that expires, Jotaro, with the BKB, can charge on four. But again, Toronto, Tokyo, that's a dieback for the Ember Spirit. Or it be on guard like they're gonna run into collapse as well as Asta. They can't. It's gotten to that stage where you just can't go out for more than one lane. They run into collapse though. Zip. I don't think he's got the health pool to be able to TP out afterwards. Or a collapse. There's a Beyond oh, God like Shrek over the Ori, 16, been 2 and 7 on the Storm Spirit. My oh my, he's having such an incredible game on a hero that we do not see often. Mm -hmm. And they're going to try and force a little bit more out of them here. At least the Glyph, maybe even a buyback for the Razor. Of course, it's on the back Dyer's of the Visage. Doesn't top quite top have the AC top. just yet, so the Siege is going to be a little bit slower. Uh, oh, here now. He's going to be careful about showing. Or he's not going to... He'll take any free food you can get. This guy not respecting the Storm Spirit. Got a Dazzle as well that's just able to keep this... Uh, these creeps healed up. Mean the Rogue is gonna be in. Alive. The toss back. They need to keep him alive, but the chain control again is That's perfect. It. Oh no, they've done it time and time again. Just they play so goddamn well around this tiny man. The amount of times the toss back onto the familiars for that chain control or to Aura with the vortex. It's been beautiful. We might see it for another time. Ronto Tokyo. You get the BKB off this time to protect him, but instead Ori, he wants to deal with the supports. The Ghost Scepter buying some valuable seconds for Mira, but Ori will just turn for the Wyvern instead. What? Oh god. 1% Denog? Yeah, that's optimistic, David. Is under attack. Teams as well, with the meta that we have on these kind of backline saving supports. Wyvern will hang on long as it down at the bottom as Yator is gone. Out of the count. 85 seconds without a buyback and... Spirit. They're gonna have to tuck the tail and get back inside the base to make sure they don't bleed another kill. Laps just trying to get a little bit of uh, extra survivability allowed the island to go for a little bit longer before it can Wait, I thought he jumped out of the low gun, didn't see him. Have a bash or do they have the damage? They do not have a bash on. Ultimate Aegis, yeah, but go for the GG push, get the throne down. Ori's gonna start with that one first. He's not gonna tap out. Ori's gonna look to put them into a position where they are forced to plenty of magic damage. And Ori's inside the fountain. You know, I'm to play with and... I think he's gonna explode. 